Hello, my name is Green and welcome back to episode 2 of Hermitcraft and I have been extraordinarily busy. Now I haven't made much progress on the inside of my base, I was hoping to get some of that done today. However, I have been busy mining, as you can see by my many broken pickaxes. Look at this! The fruit of my strip mining, here we are. So, I mean, this is a lot of resources. I may not need to go strip mining for a long time now, which was my goal precisely. So, we're going to take care of this. Unfortunately for me, my pickaxes are suffering. So the first thing that we need to do is get ourselves a mending book. And fortunately for me, Rendog has told me that he's got a villager that I can get them from. So we're gonna go and visit his base. Although I'm not entirely sure where that is. Sorry. What is that? Scar, what have you made as your starter base? It's a giant... <laughs> he said it was a meatball. I definitely... I thought it was going to be like some sort of wooden eco cube house thing. But no, it's a giant snail. No, it's a giant snail. Yo, you know, that's cool. Just another day on the Hermitcraft server, you know? One look at that and I've got to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Scar. I love you, and I'm pretty sure you're going to love this. I see you, giant snail, and it's just, uh, it's just too perfect. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. No! Never, never, ever right click. Uh, just don't keep an axe in your hand. It's the worst. Okay, well, we'll fix that in a minute, but what I want to do here is add a small but very fashionable mumbo moustache. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Scar will love it. Okay, so now we need to go and find Rens. I'm sorry, I, just, I don't know why I felt the need to do this, but I think it's an. I think it's quite an improvement, if you ask me. <laughs> okay, we need to go and find Ren's base, but genuinely have no idea where anyone is on this world. So I'm gonna quickly ask him. So it turns out Ren is on a little island, not this one. This one actually belongs to Stress Monster, who apparently is also living in the jungle with the rest of us. This is actually a much more crowded place than I thought. So he lives over yonder, and I, I realized something that I really should have done in my last episode, in the first episode, which is kind of explain a few things. I kind of forgot, so let's head over. First of all, one question is, what is Hermitcraft? I know that I, I would say maybe 95% of you already know what Hermitcraft is, but the reality is that there might be some people that are entirely new to the entire series and aren't quite sure what we do here. Well, the answer's simple. We play Minecraft. A lot of Minecraft. We have fun, we play with multiple people from different countries and backgrounds and play styles, and it all comes together in one gigantic server called Hermitcraft. And that's as simple as it gets. However, this season in particular, we've got a few things that are different to last time. So last time we were on an island and there were different districts if you watched season 6. This season is slightly different. We have, what you see here, a Mushroom Island. And this is actually going to be the shopping district for Season 7. And eventually this will all be full of shops as we know our shopping centres to be. And then around the shopping district, or the Mushroom Island, I have no idea what this is going to be called, we then have loads of different biomes where all the different hermits have split up and settled and made their bases. Now I'm looking for a little island just off the coast of the shopping district where Ren has told me he lives in a place called, well, I, I don't know whether he called it this or whether it was just called this, but Loser Island. So this is the, this is the starting place, so must be this direction. Oh no. Oh no. I've been traveling for like 10 minutes and I didn't bring my emeralds, and I didn't bring my books, and I didn't bring my paper. How am I going to trade if I don't have anything to trade with? <sighs> Here we go again. Let's go all the way back. I wonder if we can shortcut through the nether. I haven't actually checked where my portal is, but it must be this direction. Oh dear. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like it. I'm pretty sure my portal should be in this direct. 
that might be my portal. I think that's my portal over there. Okay, well that makes life quite a lot easier, but not that easy, because I hear ghasts. In fact, I see ghasts. Come on, I can make it. I can make it. No! No, 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 no. No. No, no, this is a terrible idea. Where'd he, where'd he go? I really want to make, this is gonna save me so much time and hassle. Please, this is giving me anxiety right now. We made it. Okay, hopefully this is my portal. Uh, we, yes! Brilliant. Okay, so I did actually find some emerald ore, which is brilliant. I did have books with me. I just need to make sure I've got enough paper to trade. Because I'm going to need quite a few mending books, if I'm honest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My fortune three pick. Let's see what we get. 17 emeralds might be enough for one book. Collect up all of this. Now let's go and see if we can get to Ren's house where we can get our hands on these mending books. This is definitely the path of death. I'm gonna have to make this a little bit safer than it currently is. <gasps> no, no, do you mind? Oof. I almost got pushed off there. Aha! That looks like that might be it. Doesn't look like a loser island to me. Wonderful. Oh, and he's got a little mushroom in here. Okay, let's take a look. We don't need doors. Oops. The salmon. Ooh. That might be it. I need to... So where would Ren keep the villager? Okay, we're looking for a mending villager. In fact, I should have listened for him because I've just heard him. Dr. Mernard Tiddlebink, PhD. Oh my goodness. 60. Okay, I can afford one mending book. Is there someone else I can trade with? For emeralds? Okay, it doesn't look like he has anyone to trade with, but I think I know where I might be able to find some other villagers to be able to trade with. I actually checked the village near my base, as there is one in the spruce forest, but they're all gone. No, nobody's home. What on earth is a... Oh, yep, yeah, got sucked into the dead bush. I'm gonna leave this cursed place. Hey, it's false. Hey, what's up, false? Oh, I'm not up to anything. Uh, the, the, uh, the, those those pesky birds taking all those crops pesky birds <laughs> Aha, this looks like where I'm trying to go because I know for a fact that doc has a bunch of villagers that I can get some emeralds from but what have they done? Oh my goodness. They've split it in two. Well, I mean it is theirs now. They bought it from me fair and square It's weird seeing a season six build here Whoa, why does he look so broken? What's been going on here? Well, this is a telltale sign of lots of villagers. Uh, oh, there's, I, I don't really know if I'm supposed to be trading with his villagers, so it's probably best that we keep a low profile. I didn't exactly, uh, I mean, it's no harm. There's no harm in doing it, but probably best to just keep a low profile. Ah, there they are. Hello, villagers. Perfect. Um. Oh, there was a door right there. Where are you? Where are you going? What? It's not. It's not bedtime. I want to trade. Thank you. There we go. Thirty-three emeralds. That is enough to get me two more mending books. Man, two and a half hours just to get some mending books. My oh my, the early game is rough, my dudes. Really, really rough. Okay, now to Ren's farm. I think we got away with that pesky bird. Okay, I'm back. Murnard Tiddlebink, take my money. Two, okay, we got three mendings. That's smashing. Smashing job, mission accomplished. Three hours of my time. Let's go back to the base. Oh dear. And you know what? I'm not even, I'm, I'm gonna take the nether because this is, this is insane. Whoa. Did you see? What? What? Go. Oh. It's, it's going, it's, it's like a, Torpedo! Whoa! Can, do you mind, Mr. Dolphin? You know, take a chill. Take a chill pill. What? That's not how you do. That's not how you swim. Go back. Go back into the g good. Uh, serves you, serves you right for being nuts. Okay, back to the base we go. Okay, silk touch. Mending. My goodness, that was hard work. I'm gonna save this extra mending book for later. 
but we got to repair this because, I mean, I actually forgot. I, it's been so long. I've spent so much time getting these books that I actually forgot why I was even getting them in the first place. It's not just to repair them, it's because I want to make use of all of the strip mining I've been doing. So let's spawn in some zombies and get these repaired. Scar's streaming at, a mo at the moment and he's just discovered the moustache that I've put on, <laughs> on, on his uh, snail, which I've just found out is called Larry. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> ah, nice stash. Who would do that? <laughs> Who would do something like that? Well, I don't know. Certainly wasn't me. <laughs> so now that we've got our pickaxes up to scratch, what we're going to do is see what we can get from all of these. So the first thing we're going to do is get all of the iron and gold smelting away. Okay, all smelting. So let's time lapse getting ourselves all of this stuff. But I think maybe we should do the diamonds outside of the time lapse because that, I mean, that's way better. With our fortune three, we can see how many we get. Diamonds, 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 diamonds. Okay, there we go. We got a big old stack of diamonds. Let's see how many we can get with our fortune three. Down we go. It's going well. We're getting a lot. I can see all the diamonds flying off the pillar. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at all these diamonds. Plus, I got a stack here. How many did we get? Wow, we did well. So we just about doubled our amount of diamonds, but I think it's over, so we definitely got a bit lucky there. All right, let's time lapse the rest of it now that we've got our diamonds out of the way. All collected and organized, it looks pretty decent. We got a lot of redstone, a lot of lapis. This should do us for a while, but it's not quite enough for a beacon. So my dream of not having to do any mining is probably not gonna happen. However, we can craft ourselves up diamond gear at last. There we go. Woo, cover me with diamonds. And now we can enchant this stuff as well. What did we get? Blast protection, pretty good. Fire protection, aqua affinity. Fire protection, thorns unbreaking. It's not the best, but it will do. We're blue and shiny. Once you're over this diamond hurdle, things start to get a little bit easier. So, one thing that I want to do now is I want to do a little bit of work on my Hobbit base. Because it's, well, it's pretty basic. It is really, really basic at the moment. I want to get some stuff done. I feel like birch would fit a lot nicer in here because it's it's a it's that little bit bright. Yeah, that's definitely a better contrast. The birch definitely fits in. This season, I definitely want to improve some of my building techniques. In particular, I really want to improve diagonal building. Diagonal building is um well, it's it's not necessarily difficult it's that it takes a little bit of getting used to you have to change your entire perspective of what building in minecraft is is meant to look like because we're very used to to working in these dimensions you know x and y but when we take into account the diagonals things do start to get a bit more tricky so I want to add a little diagonal window here. It's going to be quite big, but I think it will look quite nice, especially if I decorate it with some plantage. There we go. And then just add all this grass on the top to make it look really embedded. And then let's take a step back and see what that looks like. Well, it looks a bit overcrowded. Maybe I should have brought it forward a little bit, but on the whole, not too shabby. Diagonal building is always a bit of a challenge. But I haven't actually spoken about what my main base is going to look like. It's not this. This is obviously just my starter base to get, get going. And then I need to start working on my main base. And yes, this season I'm going to have a proper storage system. That is really nice. Even a small amount of like a diagonal build can make a huge difference to the way it feels. It's just because a lot of people don't really use this technique because it can be a little tricky to make it look more natural. But that overall has 
I think it's added to it. It is starting to look a bit odd, like there's a small eye and a big eye, but I'm going to add some more maybe over here. Uh, definitely one maybe lower down over here, and this will start to come together very slowly and hopefully look quite natural when it's all done. So what I think I'm going to do now is spend a little time off camera tidying this place up and getting it ready for being a proper base because this is a starter base mess and I want this to be a starter base plus. Alright, so I'll be right back with this, hopefully, with a bit more progress behind it. You know, I've been working on this for a couple of days now and I log in and do you hear this? Tick tock. Tick tock. Now that's not suspicious at all. Before I show you what I've been building, I mean you've already seen it, but if we go up here, there's a mysterious grandfather clock and it's donging every few seconds. It's a magical grandfather clock with a special surprise. Oh, where is it? That direction. No? Oh, oh no, no, no. I'm pretty sure this isn't the special surprise. No, get get out of it. Get out, get out of it. I think that's it. Oh my goodness. What on earth is this? It's a annoying ticking. Do these buttons do anything? Oh my goodness. I assume that Scar has done this. I mean, well done on the redstone side of things, but like, were the buttons necessary? Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of this because this ticking, I, in real life, this is a genuine fun fact. Whoa, I've got some arrows in my head. Uh, this is a genuine fun fact about me. I really hate clicking clocks. If there's one in the room, I won't be able to sleep. So, um, thank you for the clock scar, but this, this is far too annoying for me. <laughs> this might be, uh, slight retaliation for the, um, the zombie prank that we got in with. I appreciate it, Scar. I really do. But at the same time, uh, not for me. Not for me. It's like he knew. Okay, now we got rid of that. I think we can, uh, I can show you what I've actually been working on. So this is like my secret garden style thing that I've got going on here. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do, but I have made a diagonal entrance here because I did say that I wanted to work on my diagonals. So on the inside here, I have made more of a hobbit hole style thing. So you can see I've tried to get the best sort of circular oval shape. I have made it quite tall just because I wanted to feel a bit spacious in here. Upstairs, I've got my nether portal right there. And then I have, more importantly, created a proper storage system. Now, it's not redstone, it's not automated, it's far too early for that. However, check it out. We got your gravel, you got your sand, you got bir bird poop, we got bird poop here, we got greonite, we got, we got all the things, and they're all organized into their respective chests, and that's... I'll tell you what, it's actually quite easy. It took me well over an hour to get this sorted, but it's done. And I have been staring at the outside... Oh, wait, I missed a sign. Hello, neighbor. I left you a present in your bedroom. Ah, I, I've, I've, I've already found it. Um, I can't believe... That was a terrible... I don't know if you saw that. That was a terrible spelling of neighbor, meaning 100% that was Scar. <laughs> so I've been staring at the outside of this for a really long time, and I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it. What... Why I, why I felt like something wasn't quite right. And I think I figured it out. I think it's to do with the entrance here. It's just a bit lonely. I think it needs a bit more either side. Because on, on a quote real hobbit hole, the one from the movies, there's a, bit, there's a bit of wall here and here. So I might try and add that in now. Professor Beak, can you not? You are a noisy boy. Noisy boy. But you know what? I'm going to keep this clock. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. I might add something in here, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely keeping the clock. It's definitely gonna take me a few episodes to get this uh, this base up to scratch because this obviously this is my bedroom in here, but yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get this all going. I was also reading a few of the comments, and it turns out there's actually quite a few people living in the jungle. Not just me. I know of I know of Scar and I know of Stress. But it turns out Mumbo and Iskal are apparently also living in the same area, although I've not seen them. So what we're going to do is go and hunt down Iskal's and Mumbo's bases and see if we can see where they are. 
for for science, for scientific purposes only. Another bird head for my collection? Hello, <laughs> pesky bird. <laughs> now, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm kind of roaming the jungle aimlessly for now. Ah, we've hit the savanna. That means uh, we must have missed it somewhere. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna kind of search the jungle like this and then turn and then keep going until I find someone's base. This jungle ain't big enough for the four of us. Although it, it clearly, it clearly is big enough for the four of us. I'm so lost. Oh man, do you guys see this? One of the most satisfying things in Minecraft. Ah, uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Is this a base? It doesn't look like a base. Mysterious box of, huh? Mysterious box of, huh? Wait a minute. Gorgeous honey bun. I have a feeling this might be stress monsters. Not only can I not find anyone else's base, I can't even find my own. I am thoroughly, thoroughly lost in this jungle. Before the season's out, this jungle has to go. Every now and again, I find some signs of life, like a bunch of torches. But no bases. Thoroughly, thoroughly lost. Another bird head for my collection. <laughs> Pesky bird. <laughs> Do you know what? I think I might climb the tallest tree and see if I can see anything. That one over there. I feel like Tarzan. <laughs> this is amazing. I never thought you'd actually be able to like swing from tree to tree, but this is this is totally possible. You know what? I'm now convinced that Mumbo doesn't even live in the same jungle now. I may not have got very much out of this, but I have got nearly one of every parrot head. I don't know how many parrots there are, but look at this. I got five. I'm so lost. You know what? I'm gonna just leave the jungle and figure out going like around it. I'm, I think I've been going in circles for like half an hour. I found neither Iskal's base nor Mumbo's base. So y'all guys' comments were all wrong. <laughs> all wrong. It's me, Stress and Scar in there at the moment. Oh, okay. So I have found his base, but it's like not really in the jungle. Now whose is this? Is this Mumbo's or Iskow's? This is- wait, he's done a hobbit hole as well. This is just like that Spider-Man picture, you know, where there's there's two Spider-Man and they point at each other. Mumbo and I have made very similar bases. There can only be one hobbit hole in this jungle. K-K-G-O-O-M-R. I don't know what that- I don't know what that means. Okay, I just went and had a look at their videos. This is 100% Mumbo Jumbo's base. We found it, but what are we going to do about it? It actually turns out Mumbo's really, really close to our base. Our base is just over yonder. I think we need to let him know. This jungle ain't big enough for two hobbit holes. There can only be one instead uh, instead of signing at green i could just do my face really quick this is the best way to welcome mumbo without actually doing any damage to his house we just want him to know who has the one true hobbit hole in this jungle welcome to the jungle everybody is everything behaving as normal <laughs> uh great green isn't <laughs> <laughs> or am I am I behaving as normal? <laughs> hey, look at that! Look, there could only be one. That looks exactly like my face. <laughs> as always, we could take this one step further. I've only just realised that Mumbo's actually online right now, and he could be back at any moment. I had no idea. We gotta be quick. We gotta be quick, dudes. There we go. <laughs> There could only be one hobbit hole. Now let's skedaddle before Mumbo turns up. Now the reason I know that this is very close to my base is because this bamboo forest is the only one here. So it means that my base must be over here somewhere. Ah, oh, he was hiding right in plain sight. I don't even think he was hiding. I just couldn't find his base. Mission accomplished. And now we just have to try and find Iskal, wherever Iskal is. Is there anyone home? I've been to this village, so I know that my base is literally over there. Oh my goodness, Mumbo, I'm 
I am so thankful that we are neighbors again. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Mumbo's the best. Oh my, really, really close. So, still to find is Iskal, but I think that's everyone in our jungle, although I would argue that Mumbo's not quite in our jungle. He's on the outskirts. So we know Scar, we know Stress, and we know Mumbo is just over there. This is really cool. It's so good having people, especially the Hermits, right next to each other because it's, it's so much fun to interact with each other in this early stage of the game. So what I want to do now is actually continue working on the base. Um, but I, in particular, I want to get going on some of the more redstone-y style things. But I'm afraid... That is all that I have got time for today. Everything in the early game takes three times longer than it normally would. So, got to take things slow a little bit. But I think the progress that we've made is excellent. I think we have discovered a few really good neighbors. And I'm excited for what comes next. So, I will see you in episode three. Thank you very much for watching and good bye.